we're hoping to see everyone this weekend to celebrate the winter solstice. This will be our third annual celebration of the shortest, darkest day. And once again, we are holding a holiday market with beer keller and a lantern parade. So for the lantern parade, we ask that you come up to Riverfront at five o'clock on the solstice, which is Saturday, December 21st. We'll start gathering with lanterns and poles around 5 p.m. And if you've got your own lantern from home, perfect. We may have a few things to help you craft a lantern, but we ask that you remember to bring a good flashlight or a portable light. There's lots of little battery-operated LEDs on strings. We will be here with plenty of poles, and we will help you to affix your lantern to the pole. We'll gather. And as it darkens, we'll talk a little bit about the winter solstice. And around 6 o'clock, when darkness has fully wrapped the park, we will parade down into Riverfront Park, down to the Grassy Amphitheater, and gather to celebrate en masse with all those lanterns. If you've not been, it's just a beautiful sight um, to gather together in the company of friends and family. And we'll have, um, if the weather is cold, we'll have hot chocolate and a bit of a fire for you to celebrate some toast, some marshmallows, and drink cocoa, and of course, um, mulled German wine, blue wine, and beer to celebrate this short day. We encourage everybody to come out because the park is absolutely beautiful in these low light days of December. Um, the, the golden hour is just spectacular, and it's really, really good for you to take a break from the hectic holiday hullabaloo and come out here breathe deep the fresh air, um, take a break in nature, and get, get your head straight after so much holiday craziness. This is definitely good for the soul. A few of these um, paper lanterns for sale, we've got a, a few left over, and if you'd like to use one of these, it's still a good idea to remember to bring some of your own little battery-operated lights for these, but they are for sale um, to benefit the Parks and Recreation Foundation and then you can hang these in your own house. At any time that you're using um, lanterns, paper lanterns, we really want to stress to you that you must use battery-operated lights. Flame around any paper lantern is really a bad idea, and my friends in the fire department will reinforce that for sure. Please be safe while you're lighting any of these and be present while you've got them turned on. Certainly avoid using flames. But we've got these lovely lanterns available limited basis and then it's easy to craft some of your own paper lanterns too. These are really a quite easy craft to make in the course of an evening. Um, take some sticks and tracing paper or parchment paper and glue. You can decorate these and again insert a little battery operated lantern. Fun craft to make. These are also, also easily done with balloons wrapped with string. So there's no excuse to not come out and have a lantern and join us. We hope to see you this Saturday for the third Winter Solstice Lantern Parade.